Hi, welcome back to the fourth lesson. Um, this one we're going to build up um, a few more layers on our map, um, adding rivers and lakes, and coastline and uh, country borders. So let's go back to our QGIS download, uh, QGIS download, and natural earth downloads. Um, let's pop in the uh, country lines, which will be the country borders. So we'll pop those in, you can see those come in on top. We'll also add in our physical stuff, so we need the rivers. And we'll add in lakes. And lastly, let's add in coastline. Okay. So as you can see, they're all just default styles that come straight in from um, QGIS itself. Um, what I tend to find is it's easier to rename these layers so they're a little bit more user friendly. So just control click, rename, and this one's going to be country. I tend to um, give it a type of name as well. So if it's a polygon, I'll give it polygons. If it's a line, I'll give it line. So I'll just quickly go through those. Coastline, it's a line. Lakes is a polygon. Rivers is a line. And the boundaries are lines as well. So boundary lines. There, okay. So now we're going to restyle them. Um, there's various ways of doing it. The easiest way is either to double click on the layer or right let control click on the layer and bring up the properties. Double clicking on the layer does exactly the same thing as this. Um, and you've got your fill here. So if we click on simple fill, you can see it's got a border with a black stroke. Um, because we're adding a coastline and internal borders as well we don't need this black stroke so to get rid of it just click where it says solid line and change it to no pen and that will basically turn that off you can see in the preview here it's turned off the black border um, the fill um, you can change it in various ways using various sliders or just sort of picking colors or using the spectrum thing what I find easiest is because I'm not sure about you, but I tend to have a map style already in place. Um, working for a um, publication, I will, our publication already has a map style. So you're likely to have a style guide already. So if you do, the easiest thing to do is to um, have that in the background. So I've got it here. These are my very quick um, colors I've knocked up for, to give for the purposes of this tutorial. So back to QGIS, and what I'm going to do is just double click on the layer, go to simple fill, let's turn the pen off again, click on the color, and you see this little magnifying glass here, if you click on that, you can then sample color from anywhere on the screen. So I've got my illustrator swatch in the background, so I'm just going to click on that, and you can see it's gone into here. Just OK that. And OK that, and there, our map has been styled in the background. So to do the same thing for the coastline, double click, go to simple line, click on the color, click on the magnifying glass, choose rivers and coast, OK, OK. That's our coastline done. Next, we do the lakes, same thing, except this time I'm going to keep a, a border first, put the same color as the coast, and then I'm going to do the color fill, same color as the sea. So OK that, OK that, and there's all of our lakes done. Next is rivers, same thing, click on the color, magnifying glass, over to the swatch, OK, OK, so there we've got our blue rivers, and last of all, our boundary lines. Simple line, click on the color, choose the magnifying glass and change it to the border color. Okay, 
OK. So there's our map now, styled very quickly using swatches from Illustrator. You can actually use whatever um, application you want to draw your swatch colours. Um, you can do them in Photoshop if you like. Um, so I'll just zoom in, that gives you an idea. So there's various things you can do now in terms of styling the lines. Um, the coastline I'm quite happy with in terms of the thickness of the line, but I feel that the country borders need strengthening up a little bit. So go to the boundary lines and we shall click on the simple line. And the pen width is essentially the thickness of the line. So we'll just knock that up a little bit to 0.4. We can click apply and that will show us what it looks like. Yeah, that's looking better. OK, that. And zoom out. Um, the zoom controls are here. They're very easy to bring up. I didn't actually show you where they were in the first lesson, but they are under map navigation. So if you just have map navigation selected under your toolbars and it turns on the zoom zoom in, zoom out, and the panning. Um, to bring these up without having to click up here is Command minus to bring up the zoom out, and Command plus to click to select the zoom in. You see the little icon change to a plus. And to bring, to enable you to scroll the map around without clicking up here to the hand, you just hold down the space bar and it just drag. You don't have to, to click with the mouse you literally just hold the space bar down and move your mouse around and it will move the map around. OK, so that's it for this lesson. The next lesson I'm going to be doing a, um, a simple locator map of Iraq. We'll be adding in the state boundaries, the state polygons, and we'll also be loading in some places as well and styling up the icon.